How are you doing? Hello. We are here, and so is the Pokemans. Shout we out wanna... to uh, shout out to everybody who um, is watching this after the fact and already knows what's going to happen. Yes, because I've, no I've noticed that there's quite a bit of that. Uh, hello, everybody. Welcome to um, whatever the fuck this is. I wasn't honestly expecting like, like I don't know. I don't keep up with stuff. Apparently, this is a yearly thing. Fuck if I remember this happening every year. Well, I know it definitely happened last year, because last year was when they originally announced the uh, Diamond and Pearl remakes and Legends Arceus at the same time. Oh, this was last year in this? Yeah. Wow. Uh, why, um, why, 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 is, why is it Pokemon Day? Why is it today? Because it's the... Today is the day that Red and Green originally released in Japan. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Also, I'm eating. Sorry if that bothers you. Skip ahead in the timestamp until. Uh, the well, to be fair, it's like 2 p.m. for you and like not, well, not even 2 p.m. for you and not even 9 a.m. for me. Yeah, if this was uh, any other day than a weekend, then this would be very antisocial. Then <laughs> again, some Nintendo streams are like 11 at night. Yeah, I, I think it depends on, like, what the actual video game content is. Like, if it's going to include, like, an M-rated game, they put it, like, whatever the equivalent of later in the day for Japan is. Shall we do our usual predictions, then? Uh, yeah, might as well. We got time. Let me just uh, throw up the screen share for you. Yes. Uh, there you go. I'll put it in 60 FPS so you don't miss a single frame of Pikachu saying Pika Pika. I can't full screen it yet until it starts either, so don't complain about that. It won't. It, it physically won't let me. All right, I guess I can try F11. Let's see. No. Whatever. There we go. Okay, so it's just a chill thing. We've got 20 minutes to kill, but... Yeah, because it's a weird premiere format. That's another thing that they do that separates it from the Nintendo Directs. Did we have trouble with that last year? You were talking about it in the Discord. I don't remember. Yeah, well, apparently it was a thing everyone was having problems with. Was They did something that completely beefed the entire format. Let me see if I can I was gonna say, did we specifically? find the old one real quick. Oh, man. <clears throat> Oh, you're going on the archive channel. Yeah, I'm going into the YouTube, into our YouTube archive channel. Fuck, man, I don't even remember which ones we record. We don't, well, we don't always record all of them because a lot of it's dependent on whether or not we're both available mm. as well. Mm -hmm. I should put some music on in the background before, shouldn't I? That yeah, might help. Maybe a little bit of, like, you know, Kirby waiting room music or something. Mm -hmm. um, no, Pokemon music will get me struck down on it. Probably. Um, well, actually, the Diamond and Pearl stuff apparently is okay now, remember. They did do that. Oh, yeah. Let's see if I can find that. Ah, Diamond and Pearl sound library. There we go. Yeah, that's the thing. There you go. I'll just leave that in the background. Uh, playlist Wednesdays with Pokemon. Uh, okay, let's take this. <clears throat> oh, geez, it's crazy how, um, you know, with everything going on and the fact that it was only a year ago, mm. you were in the middle of the friggin' yellow randomized Nuzlocke a year ago. Shit, that was only the... a year ago? I know! That's, yeah, that's February, wild. February 26, 2021. How did I even come out with Gwen? Uh, no, because I'm still using the, um... My second ver the second version of my own homemade uh, David and Friends format. Wow. Hey, 
kind of wild when you think about it. Yeah. Feels like longer ago. It really does. It's weird. Just take a look at other flavors. Because this, because the old last year's one will be in both the Pokemon and the special events um, playlists. Series of special events. Yeah, because last year we did. Yeah, because last year is when we did a lot of different ones. We did the Pokemon one. We did some E3 streams. We did. Um, the Nintendo Direct. You did the uh, final Smash presentation because, you know, I had to work. I'm surprised I... Wow. I was about to say I'm surprised I bothered considering it's normally you that wants to record these, but I think for the final Smash one, I was probably just so full of hype. Oh, absolutely. And it was well worth it, too, I think. Like, being straight up, Pokemon is not, like, that important to me that I would, like, stream this of my own initiative. But that's fair. But you know, I'm I'm looking forward to seeing what we got. Yeah. Um... Best case scenario, we get a, a pass for uh, Legends Arceus because I don't want them to say that Gen Nine's out this year. I mean, I'm trying to think. It's too I soon. Mean, they would... need more time on it. Don't rush oh, it. Oh, I completely agree. At the same time, I have the feeling that's probably what's going to happen. Oh, anyway. please no. Just... Because they almost because they always reveal like the most major of major games during the Pokemon Day thing. Mm -hmm. Like they always do it on their own now. They don't even save anything for a Nintendo Direct. Bro. Like honestly, I don't even remember the last time a Pokemon game was revealed for a Nintendo Direct. I like my recommended, by the way. Seems about right. Oh, yeah. Just glad um, it didn't uh, show all that hardcore porn. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I mean... I would... I'd honestly be more surprised than not if Gen 9 doesn't get some sort of a teaser. But at the same time, I also That's, think I, agree, I also Please. agree that it would be way too soon. They should at least save it for next year at the earliest. Yeah. I, but you also have to remember that, you know, Game Freak toils under the whims of the, of Team PCI and their inexorable marketing machine. It's so weird. It's so yeah. weird how Game Freak isn't even in charge of their own franchise anymore. It's the most profitable yeah. property in the entire world, and yet it's all like for merchandising and it's like it's like the disney thing like disney doesn't make money off their movies they make money off their theme parks and merchandise pretty sure the theme parks are tanking due to corona though well i'm in in the i guess the before times as it were isn't it like all marvel shit now that keeps them going well a lot of it is admittedly marvel and star wars but like you know no, until fucking star wars i tell you that until relatively recently, it used to be that, you know, it was the theme parks and the ability to add IPs to those theme parks that kept Disney parks going. Ah, oh, damn. Unrelated, but my cat just uh, made me fail the dust test. <laughs> the dust test, for those who are wondering, is uh, I don't bother cleaning my desk until my cat walks on it and I see a paw print left behind. Ah, uh, okay. and, and there's a visible paw print, which means it's now time to dust my desk. So I guess that's what I'm doing cat... after stream. And then when the cat lays down, you just sort of roll it across the desk. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Daddy, how's it going? Welcome, welcome. Hello. Uh, yeah, so but getting back to the Gen 9 thing. So I just want to say, I am a firm believer that two years is enough for Game Freak to make a really good game. Because, uh, oh, well, yeah. like, the reason Legends Arcus is so fucking good is because it wasn't a one-year development cycle. They let Ilka That's handle, uh, you know, the remake, which normally Game Freak would have to deal with. Yes. And then last year, we got... Uh, uh, sorry, the year prior, instead of getting, uh, like, I don't know, whatever, whatever else, we got... Um, Sword Shield Spear yeah. or whatever. Well, we got the expansion pass. And, yeah, the expansion pass wasn't the best content in the world. It was a little expensive. But 
the amount of hours that they've saved on development of that in contrast to like making a whole other game i firmly believe that's why legends arceus turned out as amazing as it did all i know is that if they do end up doing gen 9 i mean i reasonably it's not going to happen because they always abandon the good stuff in order to shove new gimmicks in oh of course they can't not use arceus as the framework at the very least but you forget They've probably already been well into development of whatever else. Oh, absolutely. I'm so, just like... they probably just thought Legends Arceus was a neat experiment. I doubt they'll keep anything from it. Oh, sure. They'll think it's a neat experiment, but then it's like, it's like, literally, I almost see Arceus as like the foregone conclusion or the, the proper evolution of what they were trying to do with the wild area and sword and shield hasn't it so already like, sold more... what people wanted the wild area and sword and shield to be hasn't it already sold more copies than like most of the franchise i don't know these things always sell way more than we think they should or deserve to in some instances let me look i'm curious what is legends arceus sales I mean, I know friggin', you know, Sword and Shield and the Diamond and Pearl remake sold way more than I thought they deserved to. Highest selling in January 2022. Sold at least six and a half million units as of February 4th. So that was at the start of the month. Yeah. No, it doesn't say anything. I'll look in detail later. I'm sure we'll pr they'll probably update it soon enough anyway, because it'll almost be the start of March. Hmm. What will you do if we get Pokemon Cart? That would be interesting. Daddy, if you're still in chat, what would you do if we got Pokemon Cart? <laughs> that would be really weird. It would. I feel like we're going to get some sort of spin-off today that no one sees coming. Probably. You know, like how we always get, like, let's go home and sleep and all that random bullshit? Yeah. They're, apparently, people are saying that they that it's been recent. Apparently, they're still in development of friggin' Detective Pikachu 2, which was literally announced the same time as Pokemon Sleep. Is that a game or a movie that you're talking about? Game. Actual ah, okay. game. Right, okay. Because apparently the original game on 3DS did not have an actual ending. It just sort of ended on a cliffhanger as opposed to the movie. So. Did Pokemon Sleep ever come out? No. They announced at the same time as they did shit like the, um... Oh, fuck. What did they announce? Like that Pokemon Go Plus Plus thing, which was like the old Pokemon Go Plus Pokeball, but it was like flat. Oh, God, I don't even remember that. Yeah, yeah, this was from, like, oh, God, I want to say, like, I want to say, like, 2017, 2018? As always, I'm just going to put a message in chat, uh, because I, I, if I write it down, it'll happen. There we go. Manifesting Coliseum remake. <laughs> I mean, it'd be nice. I just hope they don't spend 10 minutes of this. It's it's short, isn't it? It's like quarter of an hour. I, I it's hope like 14 minutes. I hope they don't spend half of it on Unite. Well, I'm yeah. I mean, they maybe that I want to say this is almost part of the reason why they got all the other announcements out of the way over the week. See, for those who didn't know in the Discord, we were talking about this when they first were announcing like the Pokemon week of announcements, and it made me think that they weren't going to have a Pokemon Presents as a result. Mm. Which, of course, I was fucking wrong, because here we are. Here we are. Her, 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 her. At any rate, we have this now, so... What, what do you want? What, like, what are you manifesting? Um... Oh, jeez. I mean, I would very much like... Don't say Kanto. Don't say Kanto. I will disown well, you. <laughs> No, Switch already has content with the Let's Go games. I was going to say, if anything... Oh, jeez. Let's Go what, Johto? What, well, yeah, Let's Go Johto would be kind of nice. Um, I'm trying to think what else. 
I mean, honestly, I think the best we really could hope for would be an Arceus DLC thing. With I, I, I want, I want that so bad. Just literally have a trailer show up and like be like, another war portal has appeared and uh, strange creatures are pouring in that we've never recorded. And it's just like different gen stuff. And, oh, yeah, yeah. And give them Hisuian forms as well. That would be pretty neat. I, I'm asking for too much. Uh, this is Game Freak. They did well with Let's Go. Uh, not Let's Go. They did well with Arceus, but I shouldn't start believing that they're a good company. <laughs> well, Game Freak is fine. I think the problem is... No, like, they... Yeah. Okay, regardless uh, of what TCP of the... says, they are they can still be lazy. Well, okay, this is true, yes, There's like never any excuse of putting of in an Ocarina of Time-ass tree in Sword and Shield. I'll never let them go for that. Well, it's a fair point. I just, part of me likes to think that at least some of that is due to them not necessarily ever really having a good length of time to develop a game. Because, I mean, at this point, Pokemon's practically an annualized franchise. Mm. You know, we, you know what like, we could get? What's we that? Might, we might get Pokemon Tournament too. That would be interesting. I remember hearing rumors about that at one point or another. How about another um, portal opens, you get transported to the Kanto Joso universe? And... Nah, that would be a whole ass game that they'd do. Yeah. That, that's too much effort, Daddy. Come that on. That would be much more like a second Legends game. Bum, bum, um, bum, 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 honestly, bum, bum, I'd say another bad future choice would be if they reveal, you know, a DLC pass for Diamond and Pearl, and that adds in Platinum content. Hmm. Uh, Which yeah. The fact is, it would almost make me seriously consider getting Diamond, um, Brilliant Diamond as well, because I, that's why I didn't get it. I don't know if there's enough. Okay, don't don't destroy me, chat. I don't know if there's enough content not included from Platinum to deserve a full like season pass ass thing. It'd be more like a patch. I mean, probably, but you know they'd find a way to charge money for it. Well, maybe like a one-off Platinum Pass or something, but... Well, yeah, that's what I mean. Like, they would Pokemon just Go have, 2 know, with Crypto Platinum and Metaverse? Or DLC or something. Oh, oh my god, if they announce NFTs today, I'm gonna fucking scream. Oh, jeez. That really would be it, wouldn't it? Imagine if this is a 14-minute pitch for NFTs. <laughs> Well, I, oh, I feel like they still have enough. Nintendo still has a semi decent control over them to not do that. Well, who says that they don't want to and they're just waiting for an appropriate avenue? You know what Nintendo's like. You know, saw that what they did literally yesterday. They hate yeah. their consumers. Yeah, Liter that's... Literally yesterday, in case you don't know, because this is a recording. A fucking. They literally just pulled Smash from Evo this year. Fucking Evo! And everyone's like, well, it's owned yeah. by Sony. What did you expect? How about some fucking friendly ass, you know, community endorsement? You don't see Microsoft stopping people from hosting Smash tournaments on Smash.gg, do you? Yeah, that's a good point. Anyway, I don't I don't want to get too negative. I want to focus on the positives. I want to focus on the positives. We might we might get some good content today, and then I can post Gordon Ramsay going finally some good fucking food. <laughs> yeah, if the if the ocarina tree is its fucking raw, a good a good game like Legends Arceus is finally some good fucking food. Yeah, well, I I just hope that we see something that makes me think, hey, this company is building on what they are on the good step that they took. You know what they would also technically still need to announce is a proper date and stuff for home integration for the... That's probably a guarantee today. That's why I haven't even mentioned it. I'm pretty sure that is confirmed. Well, it's not yeah. confirmed, but I would be very shocked if it's not mentioned. Yeah, exactly. Oh, I might want to try refreshing it. Maybe it'll... Um, it's still got three minutes. Full screen now. Okay. Um, I just saw the little thing change. Briefly there. A permanent way to transfer Pokemon from the 3DS since the shop online is stopping. I think that's probably gonna happen, but I mean, technically, you, I mean, once once the shop shuts down, like banking all that for people that still you know have it on their 3DS is, is gonna be completely free. So there'll still be a way. But it's still to... shutting down in a way. Yeah, that's true. The only other thing I could think of in that avenue would be if they announce some if. 
outside of Nintendo announcing like Game Boy games on the NSO service, if TPCI just announced like a Pokemon Classics compilation where they have like the original Game Gen Boy, one and two. yeah. At the very least, Gen One and Two. If it was me, I'd I personally would do like Gen Three as well. Yeah, like Game Boy, Game Boy Color, and Game Boy Advance. Because remember, with the eShop shutting down, that also means no Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire either. We'll see. I I am. That's skeptical. yeah. That's more of a pipe dream thing, admittedly, and it would probably be something that they wouldn't do until NSO Game Boy whatever comes around. I still don't think that they would put them on. The, I I am a firm believer that they would never put them on a free service. I think they will always charge for them. Well, this is also true, but I didn't expect them to go on Virtual Console in the first place. That so. was that was surprising. All right, it says Premiere will be in shortly. Let me refresh to see if anything comes up. No. Okay. Well, I'm gonna knock the music off though. Yeah. All right. I mean, we'll but we'll shot. find out what we find out. We, yeah, we our, sure yeah, will. like the home stuff. The home, any home announcement stuff is almost guaranteed. Um, That's the only thing I'm like a hundred percent. The only other thing I could in. think of them potentially adding in Brilliant Diamond Shining Pro would be compatibility for the Hisuian forms and stuff from Arceus. Yeah, I, I, so there was um, oh, I don't have long, so I'll say this quickly. But there was a Pokeball data mined in Legends Arceus that was like a green ball, but it was like a modern style Pokeball. So huh. um, I have a feeling that it's got to be a one way thing. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I, th I think it'll be a one-way trip out of Legends. I don't think we're going to be able to send things in. Well, no, probably not. I feel like the green Pokeball might be something related to home as well, because home kind of has a green color scheme around it, doesn't it? Mm, yeah. Well, can I full screen this now? I uh, can. Probably, yeah, yeah, there we go. Let me know if there's any issues on uh, the stream. Let me know if there's any problems. I want to make sure that it's all working fine. I think it's all good. I mean, yeah. Any problems we had last time were purely on their end, not our end. I know that for a fact because I was looking I'm at meaning in terms of audio. Oh, right, audio. Yeah, you don't want to find out you've had yourself muted this entire time. Well, I don't think I'm muted. No, but... Pokemon 25th Anniversary Collection. All GB, GBC, GBA games with home support. That that that's not happening. Well, that's what I was taught. That's kind of what I meant before. Honor. That ain't happening, but I would like it. Oh yeah, I'd like it too. Not unless Tetsuya Nomura is leading the project. <laughs> that, you know that fucker likes his compilations. Yeah, but then it'll be like some dumb cloud version. Ugh. Although technically, wouldn't the if they, if they did put it on like an NSO GBA thing, wouldn't they technically already be cloud versions? I guess so. Watch them put it under the really expansion pass. That, but I guess all that stuff is sort of like a cloud thing. Right, okay, here we go. Best of luck, see you all on the other side. <laughs> Pray that it doesn't suck. Please it's be good. Going to suck. Please be good. Please be good. Please be good. Hey, look, it's that. Oh, okay. I thought the full Pikachu was going to pop up. Hello, everyone. Hey, look, it's this oh, asshole. Let's turn it up. The Pokemon Company. Today, February 27th, is the date the Pokemon Red and Pokemon uh, Green games were released in Japan. Is that Pikachu back there an actual the toy or a Pokemon CGI? It's a toy. Okay, because I was going to say, it's moving rather We've realistically. It's our 26th year since the birth of Pokemon, thanks to the support of all you trainers around the world. Thank you, each and every one of you. Today... We would like to present the latest updates on a number of games. So I hope you'll watch to the very end. Oh, there's something happening at the end. Please take it away. Oh, Jesus Christ! Hello, I'm Takato Utsunomiya from the Pokemon Company. Allow me to jump straight into sharing the latest updates with you all. He looks like a JRPG like party member. First is on Pokemon Go. Oh, are they going to announce uh, Gen 7 now? Considering it's on an island. Oh, yeah, I, this I, has got to be a... Uh, yeah, there we yeah, go. Yeah. Alola Pokemon. I'll be real. I thought it was already in the game. 
that's true. That's kind of, kind of a good trailer, actually. That's nice. Yeah, it gets to the point. First appeared in the Alola true. region of the Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon games will be appearing in the world of Pokemon Go beginning March 1st. Until then, oh Christ! The executor will be appearing in Pokemon. <laughs> Three. Help me. We hope you'll try catching them for yourself. Is this still raking in a shit ton of money? Now, I feel like it probably is. I'd like to is. share some news about a few of our other games. Oh hey! hey look at Master Sex. I actually do play this casually. This February, Pokemon Masters EX celebrates its two and a half year anniversary. Right now, as far as trainers go, there oh, are fucking Christ. Ah! Oh! 142 in total that you can team up with. 142 that you can not get in the gacha. Pairs from many regions have assembled on Victory Road, oh. our newest feature. Oh dear. Ooh. By completing Victory Road, not only can you team up with Cygna Suit Red, Cygna Suit Blue, or Cygna Suit Leaf. Ooh. But you can also receive 5,000 gems. Jesus! Look at all that mobile currency. Starting tomorrow, May and Latias are Look at her! A special outfit. That this sync pair can turn the field of play into psychic terrain, powering up all psychic type sync. Oh, she's so pretty. Skyla and Tornadus also debuted. Oh my Skyla god! Special outfit. Oh, okay. this I love the new outfits for trainers that this game, game introduces. They're skilled at supporting flying yeah. types and using interference against very, opponents. Very, very nice anime. And there's more. You'll also be seeing <laughs> Raihan and Flygon with Raihan in a special outfit. With moves like Sam also, this Master, game throws out some sick ass remixes. That's true. To celebrate yes. the two and a half year anniversary of Pokemon Masters EX, Ooh. players now have the chance to scout up to a hundred sync pairs at I no guess I know what I'm doing after stream. That's not all. If you log into the game after the Jesus. season ends, you can receive a present of 3,000 gems us, as our latest campaign begins. <laughs> we have a variety of other content lined up. As I well. shouldn't be excited for Gacha, but hey, it is a pretty Pokemon good game. Masters EX. Don't miss out. It is a pretty good game, actually. Okay. Oh fuck! This exists. It still it does still Pokemon exist. Pokemon Cafe Remix, the puzzle game where you mix and match alongside. It's very cute artwork. Introducing deliveries. It is a very new cute way to artwork, play. but Pelipper that's about its only really and dishes to Pokemon far away. And I love the whole Pelipper cafe. mail thing. At Pelipper's destinations, yeah. you'll have the chance to meet Pokemon that are new to Pokemon Cafe Remix. Gather new special outfits. And unlock hidden specialty gimmicks that give you an edge in puzzles. The mythical Pokemon Victini appears for the first time in Pokemon Cafe Remix during your deliveries. Its powerful skill will be very helpful in the new puzzle mode coming early 2022. That's a lot of Pokemon puzzle Deliver games. The only ones I've ever really played is Troze. Join your staff. Yeah, I get you. Additionally, there will be three events to celebrate Pokemon Day. The first event is Bulbasaur's Happy Pokemon Day. Um, there will be a seven-day special login bonus. Look at that crowd! What a happy time, boy! You get Bulbasaur's limited time <laughs> celebratory crown outfit. For the second event, there is an increased chance <gasps> of shiny Piplup appearing. Look at the Starting cutie! Now, for four days, shiny That's Piplup nice will have a shiny greatly Pokemon increased chance showing up, in, of showing other up games. in your cafe. Use this opportunity to have it join your staff. And for the third event, you can use an 11 times express delivery item at no cost. Whatever that means. Give you the chance to try don't out the new delivery means. feature I 11 really times. Think. You won't want to miss this. As the second anniversary of the <gasps> game approaches this Doc. June, get Tender ready Sider. to welcome tons of new Pokemon to the cafe. Have fun playing. I, ha I, I have to admit, I'm not interested in the game, but goddamn, it's cute. Smart devices. Yeah, very true. Oh God. I okay. thought we already knew all of this stuff. Since Pokemon Unite launched last July, lots of Pokemon have joined the fray. Together with unique Pokemon like Dragonite. It was fun for about a month. Slash, or Greedent. True. Form a team and battle. Fire off your Pokemon's moves over and over in new, intense, limited time battles. Full Fury Battles. Added today, February 27th. Well, that sounds awful, honestly. You can try out any Pokemon in standard battles and quick battles on special days posted on the official Pokemon Unite website. It's a shame. I was really good at Unite, but Furthermore, I really didn't Pokemon gel with how predatory right the monetary thing was. Unite. That's very The mythical true, Pokemon yeah. Hoopa joins the roster during this event. It's Hoopa. Hoopa can warp ally Pokemon to other locations. Use blindsiding team oh tactics God. to get the drop on the opposing That's kind of That's broken. Not right for That's Hoopa. really That's broken. Unite move. Turn into Hoopa Unbound and go wild. Okay, that's kind of cool. While the Pokemon Day event is going on, 
all players can try out Hoopa. Clear all special missions, and you can obtain Hoopa's Unite license. Okay. All players that log in now will receive commemorative Pokemon Day trainer fashion items. Nah, I'm good. Use this yeah, Pokemon Day event as a chance to experience the heated battles in Pokemon in Unite. <laughs> and finally, enjoy a preview of the next Pokemon that is slated to join Pokemon Unite in the future. Please continue to look forward to more content in the future in Pokemon Unite, available on Nintendo Switch and mobile devices. Next, allow me to share some news about the Pokemon Brilliant oh, here we go. and Pokemon Shining okay. Pearl games. Home support. Oh, hey, it's oh, that thing that thing not everybody had... already has. Oh, yeah, the Shaman events. Everybody totally doesn't already have this, guys. <laughs> exactly. It's Greeny the Hedge. Soon, we'll send out Oak's Letter, an item that will allow you to encounter the mythical Pokémon Shaman within Pokémon Brilliant Diamond and Pokémon Shining Pearl. You'll you be just able get to claim this item as a mystery gift later Only a month. after this presentation ends. You can add Shaman to your team and enjoy exploring the Sinnoh region together. Well, not really, because it's at the end of the game, but Next oh, whatever. Up. We have some news about the Pokemon <gasps> Legends oh, RDS go. game. Ooh. What do we got? Don't be trivial, please. <laughs> the baby. The babies. Yes. Penguins. Oh my god! Oh, okay, that's menacing. Uh. Okay, software update, daybreak. Interesting. Which what does, does what? Yeah, what does that do? I noticed that there was more alphas than usual, but that's about it. Oh. Okay, guys, this is a massive fucking spoiler. Uh, Isn't this a thing from, like... The end? Ooh. Yeah? Yeah. We are pleased to announce the Daybreak update for Pokemon Legends Arceus. Which Fuck anybody that didn't get this far yet, I guess. Cost. You'll begin a new investigation into a curious phenomenon that is causing mass outbreaks of Pokemon across the Hisui region. You'll also be able to engage in new Pokemon battles together with your ally Pokemon at the training grounds. The Daybreak update will be available later, after this presentation ends. I mean, that's not what I was hoping for. And as a Pokemon Day gift, we'd like to offer you some items that should come in handy on your adventure. Please enter the provided password in your game to claim this gift. We hope you continue to enjoy your adventures in the Hisui region. One more thing. We are pleased to announce that production of an online animated series set in the Hisui region has begun. Oh. This series will oh. feature an original storyline and is anticipated to launch later in 2022. Oh, I'm not Zorua. That's going to break my heart. Please wait for future <laughs> announcements to learn more. If it's in that art style, I'm looking forward to that. What did you think? We hope you all look forward to how Pokemon games will continue to evolve in the future. Is that it? We've that shared with you today the latest like information a about a variety of our games, but to wrap things up, we'd like to end this presentation by sharing one more video. Uh huh. Thank you for tuning in. Yeah, this is literally the last thing. It's like only a minute left. Oh, it needs to redeem whatever this is. <laughs> Detective Pikachu 2? Maybe. They were talking security guards and stuff. Yeah, I'm thinking Detective Pikachu, too. Maybe? Uh... Have 
hoping that's the case, and that it's not Gen 9. Okay. Okay. There's probably a ton of stuff to pause and check out, but... It's Gen 9. Yeah. Wait, wait. Is it? Or is it Arceus? This looks like Sword and Shield. In Legends Arceus style? I don't know. Oh my god, what is this? Is it Gen 9 in Legends Arceus style? Oh my god. I mean, that's... Isn't that Winden? No. No, okay, it just looks like it, though. Yeah, this is absolutely Gen 9, for sure. I'm almost positive. Wait, is this... No, it's not a Lolo. No, it's not a Lolo. I don't know what it is. It's modern day, though. Yeah, that's true. Dude's like, what the fuck? Yeah, yeah, it's a Gen 9 announcement for sure. Oh, God! <clears throat> um... Is that an apple dinosaur? It looks like it. Scarlet? Scarlet. Violet? Violet. Okay. They're literally going back to colors again? And they're doing two games again, the Dodge Saint. Late 2022, yeah, Gen 9. Oh my god, it's too soon! <laughs> I can't believe the thing I thought was gonna happen actually happened. Oh man. <laughs> Why am I upset about... Oh, go away, small man. Why am I upset about something that should be like a hypest thing? Oh, fuck. Did, I mean, you, did you notice? Like, it's obviously the Legends Arceus engine. It still looks like ass. Like, Legends Arceus is fun as fuck, but the biggest complaint about it is it looks like ass. Well, I'm... Well, I mean, again, that could either be a mix of timing... As well as just the Switch in general. Oh my! God. I know the Switch in general gets a lot of flack when it comes to like frame rates and not great ports of other games that aren't Nintendo games. They're just admittedly. rushing it again. Hang on, let me bring that up. Let me bring that up on the screen. Hang on. But I I, clo I closed it out of anger. Dead's got a point. They literally learned nothing. Oh, cool. Uh, I, I think OBS just crashed. If the stream ends suddenly, then it's because it crashed. Oh, no, it's fine. Okay, we're good. Yeah, they, I was going to say, everything seems to be fine on Twitter. Yeah, they've learned nothing. They've learned literally nothing. Does it show a shot of all three? Okay, it does, but it's not close enough. So let's, so let's, you've got... let's comb through it. Hang on, let me bring up the screen share. It's weird that, you know... Speaking just in purely like scientific like observation terms and not positive or negative, this for starters is the first time they've gone back to colors for a while. Oh and God. secondly, it's the first time that they've done ones that aren't like some basis of the colors red and blue going with red and purple instead. What's up with the fire type? It looks like a little tiny dinosaur guy. It's an apple, isn't it? Well, I can see the apple thing with the hair, but I think, like, I think it's literally just supposed to be a dinosaur. Like, he's a little, like, like a baby Allosaurus or something like that. The grass I can definitely see where the apple inspiration comes from with the hair, because the hair looks like a stem and a leaf. Like, in, in, my first thoughts, initially, are... Uh, my first thought is that duck's hair is fucking fabulous. Is that hair or a hat? It... 
I mean, just from a brief glimpse at it, it looks like a fucking hair. It looks like fucking hair. It looks like the silly bubble dinosaur thing on all the consoles. Oh, you think you mean the things from Bubble oh, Bobble? Oh yeah, fucking Bubble Bobble. It kind of does look like that a little bit. Which one are you drawn to? Naturally, I'm kind of leaning towards the grass boy. Well, I mean, I obviously am leaning towards the dinosaur, but I but I want to see what the final evolutions would look like first before. Also, I want to see whether or not you know this this, this is this good. this is where we differ, CJ, because I do not want to see it, and I know Game Freak's gonna fucking show me. Game Freak's gonna try and fucking show me what it looks like, but I, I yeah, have, I've always, always enjoyed, I've... like, just, you know, learn, like, I, I, I'm not gonna look at anything from this game from this point on. I don't want to know. I just, I just would like some actual, you know, I'm all, I will, surprise well, I in my I'm life. Going to, obviously, because I'm an information junkie, but also because I want to know whether or not the game will actually be good. Right, let's, let, let's look at this. So, Positives, Legends Arceus it, engine, it, quite clearly. Yeah, it's clearly the Legends Arceus engine, which is already a main positive, because I wasn't even sure they were going to go back to it for a mainline game. Negatives, it looks like ass. Well, because that's... because Because Legends Arceus looks like ass. I love that game, but it's clearly struggling. And that's just the thing that I don't quite get. Like, can, can you, again... Can you fucking see Poppin in the trailer? Wait a minute. Oh my god. There literally is rendering happening like to the trees. It's like, oh my god. Well, see, that's the thing. Is that a Game Freak thing or is that a Switch thing? Because remember, um, SMT5 by Atlas is like that too. One of the things, one of the things that Legends Arceus does is it plays lower frame rate animations the further away you are. Uh, yeah. Look at the windmill blades. Wait for the windmill, but notice how this one. Oh, okay, yeah, that's a lot d more d d Oh my god, it's literally they've learned nothing. They've All learned nothing. All I know nothing. is that it would. Pro All I know is that stuff like this and SMT five and maybe even Arceus to a lesser extent would absolutely have benefited from a more powerful switch. Like if the switch was like even twice as powerful as it is right now. That stuff probably wouldn't be an issue. I, and you're assuming that Game Freak would utilize it. Look, let me remind you. Fucking well, Xenoblade I'm... and Breath of the Wild run flawless. Well, not flawlessly, but they run a fucking lot better than this. Well, okay, yes, there is admittedly. You're not wrong. I'm not going to say you're wrong on that. I'm just I'm trying to think semi-positively, I guess. Bad habit of mine, I know. Like, it's modern. Which, you know, whatever, I guess. I would have I would have much I mean, rather just had Legends Arceus 2 or something. I'll admit they did you see the um if you go back to the Surviper for a sec, they actually improved it looks like they improved like texture mapping and stuff on a lot of them. Uh, like, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Our, like Surviper didn't used to be able to have like reflections on its scales or like Magnemite looking actually like shiny metal. But, look, I'm sorry. This looks like a GameCube game. Uh, this looks like fucking Coliseum. Uh, like, yeah, I get you. It, it I, I, oh, look, it's so jaggedy. I know I'm being overly negative, but f look at the tree. Come on, we're being negative because we, you know, oh want... my, look being, at the fucking tree texture. You're being negative out of a place of love because you know that they're capable of doing They better. can do so much better than this! Honestly, my biggest worry right now is mostly going to be like, what's the gameplay going to be like? What are they going to have left out? Are they going to get rid of Gigantamax and Dynamax and give us a different way of Pokemon but Super Form that's not the previous two generations? And stuff like that. Uh, they but they've barely started this. You can tell because there's fucking nothing in it. It's the same two areas, and there's nothing to show for it other than artwork of the starters. I mean, there's that. Also, again, like we've both said when they first revealed it and they showed the date, you're not letting Arceus breathe. It's literally less than a year that from Arceus to this. See, and Arceus, yes, Arceus is. 
a spin-off game, technically, Th this, quote unquote, this... whatever. Oh, do you know, I was about to compliment the apron blowing in the breeze, but then I noticed the fucking cardboard towel next to it. <laughs> it's like, you're, it's like, let them breathe. At least make this one come out at the same time as Arceus did. It's like... Does this look better at 1080? Let me be fair. I, apparently, I've not been watching this at high res. Let me just... Because, um, what is it? I mean, think of a fall right now. You got Xenoblade 3 coming out in September. You've got whenever this is coming out. Rumors are swirling about Breath of the Wild 2 coming out in, like, November. So what is this going to be? October? December? Can you see my mouse cursor? Uh, I did briefly when you were... I, I, yeah, I, I can see it there. See but it. Remember, okay, my, what I so... see is going to be less quality than what you're showing or like than what you're seeing real quick just because let me just the discord stream i don't know if uh chat can see my mouse cursor i don't think they can actually yeah mish is basically yeah, i, d I just want to point out the pop-in is so fucking atrocious and i'd like to point out this is the highest quality now uh chat can't see this i'm i'm kind of hovering over it with my mouse uh so cj can see it but this there's literally a jagged line on the right hand oh. side. Oh geez, do I you, think I can kind of see do, that where the textures change. Do, do you see it? That's yeah. so fucking bad. What will this game's gimmick be? And here's my question: Is it exactly going to be like Legends Arcus? Oh yeah, it'll be the exact same fucking game because they can't just let a game be a special little experience. The, this is going to completely port over Arcus's engine in every way. Because clearly they've gone, oh my fucking god, Arcus has done so well. Right, that's it. Slap together Gen 9 with that engine. Bone it in, boys. I mean, if they were going to port an engine from any other game that I, they've already that, done for the, the Switch, fucking I'd blade. rather it be Arceus just because... I mean, obviously, well, maybe not... Not exactly, notice, but... notice how all of... Other than Meowth here, notice how all of the... Po oh, actually, no, I'll take it back. I was about to say all the Pokemon have already been shown already in uh, Legends Arceus, but they're not actually, to be fair. Some of them are yeah. other gens. Because Arceus is primarily Gen 4 type. Gen 4 and earlier, right? Ah, uh, god. Even in 1080, this still looks like a GameCube game. Oh, the fucking... <sighs> like, look, you could say game footage not final. L let's be real. It's Game Freak. This is final. There's a total count of four new Pokemon. Three in it. We only saw three. Well, in terms of Pokemon not seen in Arc. Oh, in right. Sorry. I, I see what you mean. Yeah. Trainer style is weird. It reminds me of um, uh, Pokemon Go. Assuming oh, this is a trainer. It must be. This must be the trainer. Yeah, that would be like the one of the player characters, I'm guessing. Uh, who's the big stone stompy thing? That's Stonejourner. Stone yeah, Journer. Stonejourner was introduced in... Um, Sword and Shield. Sword and Shield. It's the Stonehenge Pokemon. Okay, uh, just... Now the just... question is, you can see little bits of the map in the upper left corner as he's walking past the switch. So the question Real, real is... quick, real quick, just as a side note. See this Hoppit plant? Yeah. I want this. Oh, well, yeah. I, I, I want that IRL. Okay, map... Like, you can see it looks like it's going to be another island-type thing, but does that mean it's going to be, like, Hawaii again? Or is it going to be, like, some other kind of island thing? Like, is this going to be Pokemon Australia? Oh, fucking hell. Let me slow this down. Playback speed, 0.25. Oh! <laughs> I still missed it. Yeah, just top left, top left corner there. Like, they only show very brief glimpses of it, but you can tell it's a fully enclosed island. It's not like jutting, sort of like how Galar was a full island. But it almost makes me think maybe this will be like, like, I'm trying to think of any other islands they could really, like, island islands they could really do. And, um, like, it'd be kind of interesting if it was Pokemon Australia. <sighs> There's nothing about this game that's interesting at the moment. I'm sorry. Well, I mean, that's fine. Look, they've taken the one cool thing about Legends Arceus, and now they mil they're going to milk it and ruin it. Like, what's all this shit in this room? Is this actually relevant? 
I maybe it's supposed to be references to what the region is going to be based on. I don't know. It's the only thing that I can think of. And there they are. Uh, look, they're not the worst starter designs in history. I've seen worse. But fucking rip this dude because it's obviously going to be water flying. So you know, any thunderbolt, it's always going to cook it. But true. I mean, it could be pure water, I guess. I don't know. The starters look jank. I I don't mind the starters. The designs are okay. I'm open minded. It's like the Pokemon. It's like the designs for the Pokemon are one of the few semi consistent things that I don't mind. Yeah, the, the, like, the, you the, always have nice two D artwork of them, regardless. The starters look okay. I'm sure the three D models are gonna look ass, but well, I don't know. I mean, remember, like the like some at least for the older pokemon the ones they showed off they didn't they looked a hell of a lot better than sword and shield and almost even better cuz they're in more realistic rendering compared to the cell shading that arceus is using they'll be dragon fire and grass dark uh has grass dark been done i feel like it has yeah no sleep um, and stuff grass dark well in terms of starter pokemon no but grass dark who is done with the um Shiftry line, C. Dot Nuzleaf and Shiftry. I yeah. don't recall if it was done with anything else, but it would be unique to a starter line. Oh, there. oh my god! Wait, what? wait. You know how I keep saying it looks like it's an Appley boy? Yeah. Oh my fucking god! Could it? Could it finally be real? Could I finally get my Grass Fire type? <laughs> that would that would be pretty fucking weird. But I mean, sure. Could I, could I finally be getting my Grass Fire type that I've asked for for decades? Oh my god. That would, that would be weird. Be Wouldn't that be interesting if the starters final Evo took one of the other starter types? All I'm hoping for is that the grass cat there stays fully quadrupedal and doesn't turn into an incineroar thing. Mm. We'll see. Just in theory. I mean, yeah, we'll see, obviously. But at the moment, just going by base designs, I'm leaning towards, you know, Apple Dino. Because he looks adorable and is a dinosaur. Grass type is where I'm kind of leaning. But, but we'll I'm obviously not going to... Pr- I like. I didn't even get Legends Arceus until I heard everyone else on the Discord ranting about how good it was, and you wanted me to get it's, it. It's it's so good, but like I I'm just sure, I just think I'm, I just think it's I'm about sure to lose I'm this until I hear friggin' positive word of. Mouth. I I just wish that it. I mean, okay, so they haven't shown the battle system. You know, it could be traditional battle, but. I just I feel well, like if it's the Legends Arceus engine, it's probably going to have battles at least somewhat similar to Legends Arceus. I would hope. No, I would. Like, I wouldn't take hope. Stuff from w- Arceus, take the good bits. I wouldn't hope. No, the battle system is not okay. So look, here's the thing: the battle system in Legends Arceus is great for a single player experience. But if you're if you're wanting, look, I, I I'm thinking about this from a competitive Pokemon angle. Oh, right, you, right. you can't do competitive Pokemon in Legends Arceus style. It just wouldn't happen. It wouldn't work. There's a reason why there's no multiplayer in that game, other than trading. It's just oh, not... Are you talking about just it's like how you so... throw a on a battle starts? No, I'm talking about the actual... I, I can't explain it without you actually having tried it, but it's so easy to just spam a, an Agile style move and then hit them with a strong style Hyper Beam or some shit and just take, well, the, take the kill. It's Okay, I think... Okay, when I meant battle style, I think I meant something other than i mean not the agile strong style i just meant just the fact that you know the battles start quicker and you see the pokemon actually like physically hitting each other instead of just one of them waves around and then the other one flinches or whatever right i see i i don't That's know kind of what i meant more admittedly i didn't really come across that clear not gonna lie that mm-hmm. was on my end just getting Legends Arceus simply because Gen 4 bias. I mean, that's not a reason to get a game, but Legends Arceus is a good game on its own, so I would just say get it regardless. I mean, you do you. <sighs> yeah, that's the other thing. Have to run around and dodge attacks as you're battling. Oh, God, that's going to be so silly. I don't so see that silly. happening for trainer battles or the competitive whatever. I can see that definitely with wild Pokemon. Oh. It's going to be so silly in a modern day setting. It makes sense in Hisui because, you know, un- they haven't they haven't met people. You know? Unless it's just going to be one of those things where it's like they won't like shoot fire at you, but they might you know try and tackle you or something. Like with the um, was it the friggin' Detective Pikachu movie where you know the main protagonist guy gets his fucking shit caved in by a Cubone? 
Ugh. as an example. I I wish I could be more positive about this. That's fine. I'm not. I'm like I say. I'm going mostly from a purely analytical standpoint, but I do agree with you that this is way too fucking soon. It's too for soon. Gen 9. It's too soon, and they're taking the wrong idea. Like I I love Legends Arceus. I I absolutely love it. I'm going to play the expansion thing that they, they're doing. Uh, which another thing that's annoyed me that they're not doing a DLC for that and taking an extra year to work on. Yeah, this. they're just being really vague and saying, "Oh, it's just going to add some extra bits here and there." Like what? Here you go. Here's an extra graham cracker. You know, it's it's. Uh... Any, anyway, we've ranted about this for like 20 minutes, so I'm, I'm done. I'm done now. Yeah, that's probably for the best. We're just going to have to wait and see how things play out, I guess. Poorly, but you know, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm calling it now. Gen 9 is going to be mediocre. So, look forward to that, kids! See you look later! Look forward to you buying it eventually. Bye! Bye. <laughs>